Hey everybody. So let's go ahead and look at this video. This is a, this news clip rather. It is an update on the woman who was viciously, savagely attacked by chains. This is going to be part A. Please stick around for part B. The commentary. Check it. We have now learned six kids are in custody in connection with that brutal attack of a woman near Philadelphia's <sighs> City Hall. Police now say eight suspects in total have been identified, or eight, there are eight suspects in total, and they were all behind the assault that was caught on camera last month. Action News reporter John Paul joins us now live from police headquarters with these very latest developments. John, this is all rapidly coming together here. Yeah, it is just in the last few minutes, Sarah. Yes, six of the eight people that police say were involved, they have now been arrested. We know that five of them surrendered. One of them arrested at home. It was in connection to that brutal assault that happened actually not too far from where I'm standing over at Chestnut and 15th Street. And we also learned this, Sarah, the youngest, 11 years old. Mm. You probably are familiar with the video by now. Let's show it to you again. Eight kids knocked the woman to the ground at 15th and Chestnut. They beat her unconscious. They stomped on her. This was late last month. And since then, police have been looking for that group. They put out their pictures. They were able to identify seven of the eight people involved. And we learned last night, three of them turned themselves in, and we've just confirmed three more have been arrested since then. Now, we also talked to the uh, victim in that attack. She spoke with Action News. She says she was minding her own business when the kids attacked from behind. For eight kids to completely just take away any sort of comfort that I feel walking down the street it just makes me sick. I like optimistic hopes that they can do something better than this sort of life. Again, we've just confirmed six of those kids have been arrested. Five of them surrendered. The most jarring aspect of this is the youngest, just 11 years old. They range in age from 11 to 14, so there's still two more out there. We're told the uh, police do have a warrant for the arrest of a 14-year-old girl, but they're still trying to identify one more person, a, a young boy that they captured on camera as well. So we're outside of police headquarters. We're going to keep an eye on things here, see if anyone else turns themselves in today. For now, we are live outside of police headquarters. John Paul, Channel 6, Action News. John, thank you. Okay, everybody, you saw part A. Please stick around for part B, the commentary. Mm, mm, mm.